Well, hey, YouTube. Well, today we're going to be making kicked up spicy chicken macaroni and cheese. Um, I've never made it before, but I'm kind of excited about making it. Um, it sounded like a pretty damn good recipe to us, so uh, we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. Um, so to start off with, um, got some water boiling. Going to add some macaroni to it. And like I've said before, every time you put any kind of pasta in water, hot water, boiling water like this, make sure you give it a stir so it don't stick. Just like that. So we're going to let that cook up, do its thing, and uh, we'll be back. All right, y'all. Well, it's time to start the chicken for the kicked up mac and cheese. So... We're going to have four chicken breasts. I'm going to put a little bit of butter on them. And then put them on the grill. And uh, I got the grill kind of hot to start with. And once I get them on there, then I'm going to turn the grill down. Anyway, just put them on there. Butter them up. And then I'll turn the turn the grill down. And we'll let them do their thing. Cook up a little bit. And uh, we'll be back whenever I start flipping them around and everything. And uh, we'll be back. Alright y'all. It's time to flip the chicken about a quarter of a turn. Just so we can get some good grill marks on it. Um, actually, this really doesn't matter for this recipe, but, uh, if you're going to make something and, you know, leave the chicken whole, I'm going to cut this chicken up, but if you're going to leave a whole, you know, those grill marks kind of look nice, you know, when you serve it, so, but, uh, we're going to let this continue to cook and we'll be back. All right, y'all, it's time to flip the chicken over and I'm going to give it. A little butter before I flip it. And that's what we're looking for. Maybe not so much that piece right there. Um, it's got a little done. But uh, that's okay. It'll give it some flavor. But the rest of it's looking really good. So... Uh, We'll let that continue to cook on that side, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, it's time to give it that next quarter turn on this side. And I'm going to butter it again. I, I butter it just to keep it moist. And it does stay moist when you use a lot of butter on it. I, I tend to use quite a bit of butter. Um, it does keep it moist so um, when that gets done we'll be back okay y'all I'm gonna uh, flip it butter it again before I flip and at this point in time chicken's almost done We're just going to give it a, a few more minutes, but it, like I said, at this point in time, it's, it's just real close to being done. But we'll give it a few more minutes, and then uh, we'll move back inside, put everything together, and we'll be eating. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to cut the chicken now, and... Uh, Kind of cut it into smaller, you know, bite-sized pieces. Just like that. And, uh, we're going to throw it in when the, uh, macaroni gets done. And, uh, we're going to Get it all fixed up. I 
and you can use as much or as little chicken as you want. Um, these are five ounce pieces of chicken and you can use, you know, I was really wanting to use like six pieces of chicken um, just to have more more chicken within the uh, macaroni and cheese, but you can use as little as much as you want. But uh, when the macaroni gets done, we're going to uh, put it all together and I'll show you that process. Till then, we'll be back. Okay, y'all, it's time to drain the macaroni. It is ready. So we're gonna take it over here and drain it. Just like that. Want to get all the water out of it? And then we're going to put it right back into the pan. back over here to the stove and then we're going to add our secret ingredient remember I was telling you about that the other day well we're using it in this that's going to be the spice to the macaroni and cheese and uh, my mouth is just salivating just thinking about how this is going to taste with the chicken so good and I know it's kind of loud probably <laughs> shaking around in this jar but uh, I do that and then I add about a cup of grated cheddar cheese and I use sharp cheddar and then add some milk mix that all around and get it all mixed up really good. Now we're going to let it sit here for a little bit and uh, on low heat, let that cheese get all melted. Let that cheddar cheese get all melted. Let that uh, the, the jar cheese get warm and hot and then We'll be back when we add the chicken. Okay, at this point in time, the cheese is already melted and hot. Now it's time to add the chicken. Just give that a mix. And there you have it, folks. Kicked up, spicy mac and cheese. It smells so good, and I cannot wait to taste it. So, we'll see you at the table, and we'll be back. Hey, y'all. Well, it is time. Time to eat. We've never had this before, so um, it's going to be interesting. I'm so ready for it, though. I like it. You not so much, I can mm -hmm. tell. But I like it. So here's what it is for me. 100% honesty. Okay. Because you grilled this, mm -hmm. it took away from the flavor, I feel like, of the cheese. Maybe. Or I didn't put enough cheese in it. I'll put the same amount. That tastes okay. 
Just the macaroni? Mm-hmm. Taste the difference. True. Very true. So. I, I like it. <laughs> he likes it because he doesn't like to be sweating because he's eating cheese sauce. No, no. But. Grilled chicken has a different flavor than chicken True. or other meats that you would just put in macaroni and cheese. True. So you had a flavor of a grill, which is not bad, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But it takes from that other chickeny or that other macaroni taste. Right. Make sense? Mm -hmm. It does. Well, like I said, we've never tried it before, so, you know, there's always hit and misses when you're cooking. Mm. So, this would probably be... That's a hit for him, a miss for me. So, probably never be cooked again, because, you know, or they both I will, like. I will convince him to try it cooking it inside. Yeah, we can try that again. If you take away the grilled flavor, I think that would make a change, too. Right. It's not a bad combo, it's just the grilled with the... Maybe I'm weird people, I don't know. <laughs> but it tastes pretty good, so y'all, try it. Y'all might like it. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I, I like it. It's definitely different. Mm -hmm. mm. And we now have it on camera. The one time I've ever told you that I didn't like something. Right? <laughs> I have never told you. <clears throat> never have. So, first time. First time. Oh. And I'm, I mean, recording it all and being completely honest. Right? So. But, y'all try it, because, I mean, it might not be a miss for y'all. So, but, anything else? <laughs> 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 something else? You want me to cook something else? <laughs> No, I just won't eat the meat. Mm, there you go. Maybe it's because I ate chips and dip earlier. Maybe. So I had that palate on my mouth, maybe. Right. I don't know. I can add some more cheese to it. Yeah, let's do that. Give you want to add some more cheese. more cheese to it? You guys can watch. Go get some cheese. <laughs> I'll tell you if it helps. I'm just a spicy freak. I like... Now it's starting to be hot. I like the salsa. It's fine. Tell me when. Mmm. I probably clean. Y'all are catching it right here. Let me know what you think. Oh, you know I will. <laughs> More? Did that do anything? It did. Now, I feel like, because see, before I had noodle with hamburger, or with hamburger, with chicken, and I could taste the grill. Right. Let's see what happens. It gives it more flavor. Yeah? Yeah. Better? Mm-hmm. For me. For me, yes. So is it a hit? Kinda now? <laughs> if you add more add more stuff. <laughs> well, add a whole bottle because I had about three quarters of a bottle, which I usually that's how I usually make our macaroni and cheese. With about three quarters of that jar. Mmm. That's the problem then. What? You have to consider you're covering meat. It's not absorbing like it would into a taco meat. It's actually well. Just no, whenever we it. make, we've been making macaroni and cheese with that cheese. I know, but you didn't. You never put chicken in it. No, but I've been using bacon bits. Bacon bits, not chunk and chunks. Right, chunk and chunks, chicken chunk chunks. And chunks. <laughs> so I mean, I'm just saying that could be part of it too. You didn't. Right. You know? 
But better? Mm hmm Okay. So y'all give it a try. And uh, add more cheese. <laughs> Definitely add more cheese. So, anything else? It may taste so much. It tastes like I'm actually eating macaroni now with chicken. Right. Instead of bland with barbecue or grilled. Right. So better. Much better. Right. Nothing else. Okay. Well, we're going to eat. So, please like. Share. And subscribe. Push the bell. Ding, ding. And then you'll see all the hits and misses from us. <laughs> It's first miss in two and a half years. So, but until then, we'll be back. Thanks, guys.